Yo guys, I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, what I want to cover is actually a client case study. Um, now, I actually did a previous video on my channel and I think it was titled like $3,000 uh, e-commerce client case study. Now, obviously, most as most of you guys know, I actually only work with the e-commerce niche. But, um, you know, aside from that, uh, yeah, as I said, I did a $3,000 e-commerce client case study and that video was actually talking about, you know, a new client that I actually signed on for $3,000. Um, and you know, I walked through how I actually went about getting that client and whatnot. But in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about a $15,000 client case study. Um, but you know, it's not a uh, client that I signed on for $15,000. It's actually a client that I've already got. Um, you know, I actually start signed them on at the start of November. Um, obviously, today's date is the 25th of November, 2019. At the time, of obviously, of recording this. Um, <clears throat> And what I want to do is walk you through the ads manager of one of my e-commerce clients. I, as I said, I signed them on at the start of November um, and we started running their ads from, I think it was around the 7th of November. Um, and yeah, I wanted to walk you through how I how I went about getting those results um, and you know show you some proof as well. Uh, so obviously I've got my ads manager pulled up right here. I'll actually show you. So obviously, as you guys can see, um, if we go to the 7th of November to the 25th, which as I said is today, um, and we go to update. So up to now we've spent, as you can see here, $1,337 and we've actually brought in $14,854 um, for obviously a ROAS of 11.11. .11. Now, obviously, this is the retargeting campaigns, um, and obviously, with this one, you can see we spent 178 and brought back in 3,337 for 18.72 ROAS, which is obviously really good. And then, if we go into the cold testing campaigns, um, we spent just over a thousand and brought in just over 10.5 thousand for a ROAS of 10.8. So as I said, you know, there's some really, really good results that we've got. And as you can see, you know, we've, um, it's around 15,000. It's literally probably today I will get over the 15,000. Um, it's just not quite there yet, but I wanted to record this video and, you know, show you guys um, how I went about doing it. So first things first, um, obviously most of you guys will know I only ever have three campaigns running. Um, I'm the, actually, this video, the video I posted before this video, um, one of the videos I should say I, that I posted before this video, um, on my channel, I think you, I think it's called uh, how to get results for social media marketing clients or something like that. Um, you'll actually see that I only ever run three campaigns at a time. Uh, well, actually, ever I only ever run three campaigns um, simply because there's only kind of two types of traffic, which is retargeting um, and obviously just simply cold traffic. Now the third campaign, so I have got retargeting, cold testing, um, and then just simply cold. Now, obviously, as I said, I only ever have three campaigns and they're the three campaigns that I have running, but go and watch my one of my previous videos, um, how to get results for social media marketing clients, because in that one, that's where I really sort of explain the setup of my, my uh, shells and kind of a bird's eye view of my ads managers that I have for my clients. But as I said, for this client in particular, um, Literally all I did was obviously I came in set up my ads my uh, sorry my campaigns and my shells and whatnot and whatnot I just got everything in place um, and then what I did was in the cold testing campaign um, As I said before, you know, this client is actually a supplement client. So they've got these sell uh, supplements um, So literally all I did was I just went for interests um, that I just thought could work. So I went for um, interests such as like Gymshark, CrossFit, um, you know, Gymshark, CrossFit, like my protein, stuff like that. Just really like there was no, there was no real strategy behind, you know, why I chose the interests that I did. I just literally chose ones that just made sense to, you know, that could um, actually work. They just make sense, you know. Supplement client, uh, obviously it's all about fitness and whatnot, so CrossFit, Gymshark, uh, MyProtein, they ju they're just interests that simply make sense um, to work with. And so obviously, as I said, I ran those uh, interests um, and this client was actually quite a, uh, quite a big client. They actually had never run Facebook ads before, so there was nothing, I had nothing to work off of. There was no previous pixel data or anything like that. But as I said, they're really quite of a big client. So um, over the first like uh, three to four days, um, 
Over the first three to four days, as I said, uh, you know, they, they uh, just got a lot of pixel data. Um, enough at least, you know, I had to think about 100 view content, a uh, couple hundred page view, but I don't really use page view. Um, I just go more, con uh, sorry, view content, add to cart, and obviously down the list. Um, but over the first few days, they got, a uh, you know, I think it was around 100, 150 view content and whatnot. Um, so I actually created a lookalike audience based off them, and then I also did a lookalike audience based off of the add to cart as well. Um, and that was literally the, that went so that went into the cold testing campaign um, because obviously I used each um, each um, interest and each audience. Um, separately in the co testing campaign, and I did ten dollars on each one. Obviously, because as the as the name suggests, I'm just testing out, um, you know, different different audiences, different interests, and whatnot to see which ones are going to work. From there, what you then do, or what I actually did, was uh, duplicated the winning ad campaign, the winning uh, ad sets into just the simply the cold campaign, which is then where you look to scale up uh, the winning audiences and whatnot. And then obviously, pretty self-explanatory within the retargeting campaign, um, I just set up each custom audience, you know, view content 30 days uh, back, uh, add to cart 30, uh, initiate checkout 30, and add payment info 30 as well. Uh, set those up and they just run in the background, you know, they automatically get updated. Um, I'm not too sure what the time frame is of like the update, whether it's every week or whatever, but they always automatically get updated with the new, um, you know, the new people who have added, added to cart in the past week and whatnot. Um, so they're just running constantly in the background um, and as you've seen before you know they're getting a really really good ROAS um, you know they're getting 18.72 ROAS so as you know as I said you've seen before spent $178 to bring back in 3.3 thousand um, so they're getting really good ROAS is uh, really good return on ad spend um, and you know literally just they're just running in the background now that I've set them up um, they're just running in the background, so it's really, really powerful strategy. Now, in terms of like the ad copy and the ad creatives and whatnot, um, the creative side of it, I just literally went onto my client's Instagram account, used what was on there. Uh, obviously, they are, as I said before, they're quite a big company, so they've got some really good pictures and uh, content to use. Um, so I just went onto there, used that, used that content. Nothing, you know, um, I didn't go to them to get them to get a certain type of piece of content or anything like that. I just, as I said, literally went onto their Instagram account and got them um, and got their content off there. In terms of the ad copy, what I did is just did long form ad copy. So I, re you know, couple paragraphs, you know, three to four paragraphs, um, and I just literally kind of wrote a story in a way, uh, you know, made sure that I hit all the pain points of, uh, you know, the ideal audience, which I obviously got their ideal audience from the type form that I have within my onboarding process, which is where I get them to explain all of their ideal audience. I give them, they get, I get them to give me all of their marketing content and all that kind of stuff. So I read through that. And then I just literally based my ad copy off of who their ideal customer looks like and I slyly in a way like called their ideal customer out, obviously making sure that I abide by Facebook's guidelines because they're really cracking down on those. Um, but yeah, literally long form ad copy is always a winner um, and as I said, that paired with a good creative that kind of um, links in with the ad copy in a way, um, always a winner and then the link that I got them to obviously click, um, whether they click the link that was in the actual ad copy or whether they click the, uh, you know, the shop now button, uh, that just literally went to my client's um, product pages, but it was just like the all, all products, it wasn't to a specific product, um, it was just to the all the products that they got, you know, I think the URL is like their business, uh, you know, the, the e-commerce name, slash like collection slash all or whatever um, and then obviously from there the, the potential customer can just choose what they want and obviously purchase and whatnot so that's kind of a obviously a, it's a really broad overview um, of how I go about setting up my clients ad campaigns but you know it's a really powerful way to do it as you can see um, you know let me just refresh this um, you know, as you, as you can tell from the, the ads manager I showed you just at the start of the video, um, 
you know, we've spent $1,337 to bring back in $14,854. So essentially at the moment, you know, our ROAS is 11.1. Um, so for every dollar we're currently spending with this client, we're bringing back $11.10 essentially. So very, very powerful strategy. Um, and for those of you who are wondering kind of how I actually went about actually getting this client, um, go back onto my other videos. I think there's a video that I recorded, it's called uh, how to get like two to three e-commerce meetings per week. Watch that video um, and that will show you exactly the steps that I took in order to get this client and my other, e all of my other e-commerce clients as well. Um, it's a very, very powerful method and all of my students are killing it with that method as well. I actually got an um, a Instagram message from one of my current students the other day. He sent out, I think, around 15 emails, he said. Sent out 15 emails and he already got a meeting with a highly qualified e-commerce business. So it was really, really powerful method. Uh, so make sure you go watch that. Um, and yeah, as I said, I hope this video kind of gives you some good context in terms of how I go about getting unmatched, insane results for my e-commerce clients. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.